了。You're listening to 24.7 WCUW with your host today, Dr. Bavard. I'm sitting in here. The wheels of steel. This is what we used to call it in in, in college. Wheels of steel. <laughs> um, we're here today. Today's the date of uh, April the uh, 19th. And um, we're just coming off here in New England. We're just coming off of a, um, a holiday. Um, known to us here as Patriots Day, which celebrates the the um, John Quincy Adam and the Patriots, and not the football team. <laughs> Some people, I, I know, one person says well, we're celebrating the football team. No, no, no. It's it's the um, um, the Brothers of Liberty uh, who uh, through the uh, T and the uh, Boston, uh, Boston Harbor, Harbor, which made it polluted, just as polluted as it is today. <laughs> but a nice, but a nice city. I, I, I like Boston. I like Boston. Boston's pretty cool. Um, I lived in Massachusetts for a number of years, and I've been a part of um, Worcester, Springfield, Boston, Lawrence. I've, I've traveled throughout the uh the massachusetts region so i'm i'm quite happy to be here i like i like this state you know believe it or not um this is a nice state it it's it's um it's way i think there's one negative part it's way too liberal i mean <laughs> it's liberal if you if you can deal with the liberalism um you, I mean, you make it in you make it in Massachusetts. What I what I do like is that we do not have the issues and problems of um, of. I believe it's more hidden racism here. Um, mostly, all of the people, of the the uh, police, and the state police in Massachusetts are very good people. I mean, I, I listen. I could tell you stories. I could tell you stories, and I can tell you stories between um, um, the the uh, state police. Um, I, I remember an incident that happened in Chicopee with a state police trooper got his finger shot off, and we were right there. We were right there. Um, me and another individual, while they were still shooting. See, this is this is this is the respect that the, the state police have for the citizens of Massachusetts, and while they were still shooting at him, there were those of us who were running into the line of fire to try to get that trooper out. You know, we were just saying, "Trooper, come on, come on, let's go, trooper." We were trying to get him out, trying to help him, and he was he, he his shooting finger was shot, and he was not able to return fire when he pulled up on the scene. When I saw him coming through town. And he, he was in quick pursuit. I was just coming from um, Starbucks. <laughs> and so I saw him turn and I flipped and I turned behind him also because I, I you know, for the, the, the rapid speed that he was driving in the, and, you know, you, I've been in law enforcement for over 10 years. You, you, you know when there's a, there's a rapid call, there's an urgent call. And there was a uh, gentleman who was uh, well, well, well armed. And he had a hostage situation here in Chicopee. I'm a citizen here. Um, I ran for office, uh, political office here. And I, I believe, and, and they respect uh, us. You know, I, I, got, I got a good percentage of the vote. And, and I think I did, did well. And if I wanted to run again at the rate that things are going, I could probably run this time and win. Um... um I pulled off close to 30% of the vote. 
and for a first timer, first black, that wasn't bad. All right. So I'm going to keep going. I'm not, I mean, because I can tell you stories, uh, trooper stories. You know, some of these guys are real good guys, and they will lay their life on the line here in Massachusetts. Um, so, so um, with that being said, um, all right, we make sure that we'll shut this down. So, um, as I said, you find um, a lot of good people here in, in New England. Connecticut, I'm not too impressed with. I'm born and raised in Connecticut as a young man. Not too fond of Connecticut. Um, Rhode Island, it just don't do it for me. <laughs> it doesn't do it for me. Um, New Hampshire, uh, cold. But I would, because I used to live right on the Massachusetts line of New Hampshire, and I was, uh, I was also... Uh, looking into the police the state police for um new hampshire but was offered the state police in vermont but they didn't pay anything could you imagine a state police getting only like about fourteen thousand dollars a year (laughs) you put your life on the line now yeah they said you get a gun you get a car and um you get to use the car, so I guess they would allow me to put the baby seats in the back. You know? <laughs> but um, fourteen thousand, you make more at McDonald's. You make more at McDonald's than you do as a state police officer in the state of um, of um, Vermont, uh, Maine. I don't know because after the governor got on TV and he vowed that he was going to try to he believed that all drug dealers should be executed well you know or, or get life um sentences in the prison because he is sick and tired of him of of the the drug dealers coming up into Maine taking these good white women and impregnating them and refusing to take care of them that's what the guy said that's what he said. I, I, I listened to him over and over. And I said, and he will not apologize. I show ignorance on parade. You know, <laughs> going to blame it on the drug dealers going up in the main and impregnating good white girls, good white girls in Maine, impregnating them and not taking care of them. And he feel as though that these were these men should be um, placed in prison and given a life sentence. Well, he won't make, I can assure you, governor again. Someone's going to stop him. Um, If not his mouth, is going to stop him. Uh, Nova Scotia and all of them is going up into the Canada area. I mean, I, you know, I can, I can, I'm a hermit type guy. Does that make sense? A hermit type guy where I could do the Grizzly Adam you can tell by the beard <laughs> I can do the Grizzly Adam thing uh, I mean for real um, and just just sit and enjoy myself in, in, in a calm quiet serene um, environment of um, looking over the ocean looking over the, the Atlantic Ocean and, and just sitting and just chilling <laughs> I can do that. I, I can do that. So let's prepare ourselves for the show today. Uh, we're waiting to see if, um, first of all, let me give you a phone number, 413-315-8992. And 413-315-8993, that's our phone number. I, you know, I've had people over and over. Well, let's go into prayer. Dear merciful Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God, for coming with us and joining us, waking us up, clothing us in a righteous mind. We thank you, O God. We ask in your holy name that you send your Holy Spirit. Allow him to dwell among us today that we may be able to to discuss and learn, open up uh, avenues in our minds, our hearts that we may be a blessing for others. Allow us to sow seeds in your people, the Holy Ghost seeds in your people, that they may be delivered, washed, cleansed, 
and useful. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Um, today, I'm, it looks like I'm running solo. And, and that's okay. Give me a call if you want to um, uh, work out, flex with me today. I got an open mic. And we'd like to know what's on. If you want to pray today, if that's what you want to do, if you want to um, spend time with talking with me. I mean, I'm a good guy. Uh, I want to share with you what we have happening. Coming up uh, around the first of the month, we're going to try to start our Book of the Month Club show um we looked at a name we were ba we were banging around a name for the book club um uh, and the, the the way the book club is going to operate is that there are many several if not tons of books christian books uh books on um enlightenment books on uh guidance and direction books on um um, spirit filled and overcoming the obstacles that are going on in our lives. Um, I want to first say this: you, you, you could be listening to us on many different um, uh, directories. If you're listening to us on YouTube, you look, you know, um, then you, you know, you're going to bump into us. You're going to see this tape. You're going to see many other tapes. Um, that are being played I want to share something with you I want you to to feel free to go to our website our website is www.wcuw.net that's wcuw.net that's our website and on that website you're going to be able to get enlightened on many things this if you listen to me on one of our recordings on YouTube we have um, a, a complete um, uh, information necessary to, to help you and maneuver around um, WCW Nation. Okay? Wow. That was good. WCW Nation. Uh, you can learn some things about what's happening here on WCUW, what's going on. You might find out some stuff about certain um, uh, certain ones of our um, um, uh, show hosts here. Uh, we we want to we want to open up to family. We we want this to be a family affair. We want you to come and be a part of it, and also bring other people, and allow other people to to know what's going on in the family here. Um, we're doing magnificent things, and and we're sowing seeds, and we're learning, and we're stretching out our we're we're, we're expanding our cords. We're seeking out across the horizon so i what i want to do is i i want to um uh put in your, put a put a, a feather in your cap and let you know that we have a book of the month uh, or a book i can't say book of the month uh it'll, we'll probably get into each book that we read uh getting into it and, and we're not going to read it on air we're going to discuss it on air you're going to have to read it and uh, I will read on ours. There, there's going to be many authors, many books. Um, I, I spoke to several authors. And if you are an author out here and you want to get your book known and get it, you know, expressed what, what you're doing and let other people know this is what you're doing. You're writing a book. Let's talk about that book. Set it up. Send it to me. Send your, send your, your, your manuscript. Or something or bio about you and your book. And hopefully your book is already in print. And other people would be able to buy your book. And we want to be able to discuss what it is that you have. You know, your topic and what you have wrote or written in your book. And we want to discuss those uh, topics in which you have uh, written. Um we, um, we, 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 we do the same also with music I, I want to share with you If you have music out here And you want to get your music known Feel free to send us a copy uh, I, I prefer if you mail it to us Through um, uh, MP3 It's a lot more cleaner 
you know, there's nothing worse than trying to get a um, a, a a a record on the air and or a song on the air and the volumes are not correct and and we're unable to get it balanced and make it sound and then for some reason if it's not recorded properly it'll die on me and we, we don't want to see a uh, good talent go to waste so put your music on quality tape on a, on a quality cd a quality service do a good job to it if you want to get your stuff out here and let people see what you're doing there there are and and we can also come up with that information there are organizations or there are uh, distributors who will help you put your um stuff out here and and record it for you and do a great job in recording it for you so you know a lot of the stuff that we uh, play here on the radio station and a lot of the books that are going to be also on sale. And these books are like $15, $10, $15, you know, so it's not expensive. You're not going to buy a $30 book or a $90 book. I'm not going to read a $30, a $30 book on, on radio to you. You can rest assured of that, you know, and I put you to sleep, but <laughs> But what we want to do is we want to discuss the topic matter in a few books. And and we figured that that would be a way of going about it. Hold on. Hello, WCUW. Hello, this is Lisa, your internet marketing specialist. Oh, well, hi, Lisa. How you doing? Positions on major search engines like... Yeah, see, Lisa's trying to sell me something on our... <laughs> You see, that's the thing that we get, you know, the, Lisa's trying to sell me something. <laughs> and that's, that's a, that's a line brought directly for our talent, not Lisa. So I really had to hang up from her. But back to what we're talking about. Uh, what you want to do is you want to be able to give us a call. Now you give us a call on our, our on our 24, not 24, on our online, on air, online phone number and those numbers are 413-315-8992 and 413-315-8993 if you find yourself calling us up on our other um uh line you will get hung hung up on now i messed up because i i mentioned i talked and, and i should have just hung up on her um those things are tough to do you know you hate to hang up on talent we have you know some of our people traveling all over the united states and uh, our ministries are large you might see this book sitting on the side here getting back in our book uh, um, our book club you see it says psalms 91 that's one of the books we're going to first discuss the first of the year first of the month uh psalms 91 and i asked that you uh uh Peggy Joyce Ruth, Peggy Joyce Ruth, a good book, a very good book. Um, grab it. Uh, right now, you can probably buy that. I can probably get it up. That's what we're. That's what we're working at right now. We're right now. We're working at the ability to get you the book that you can order online, or you can order it through Amazon or uh, Barnes and Noble. You still can do that now. And if you want to, I, I like for you to, to, to buy your book. It's only $5. It's not, uh, I saw it in places at low as $5. Um, uh, Peggy Joyce, I'm, and I'm going to try to get her uh, here before um, we finish off on the book. Uh, well, as soon as we get to the end of the book and we've discussed everything, I want to get her uh, on online and speak with her. So I ask, get your book. We're going over Psalms 91 by uh, Peggy Joyce Ruth. It's Peggy Joyce Ruth. And we're going to discuss uh, some topics on this book. This show that I'm telling you about will begin um, on um, Monday to Thursday, on uh, uh, Tuesday to Thursday. Tuesday to Thursday at 1 o'clock. And we're only going to do an hour. All right? Um, that's Tuesday to Thursday. First of the month. 
Tuesday to Thursday, we're going to discuss particular books. Now, if you go to our website at wcuw.net, you're going to find the books that are going to be uh, available or that we're going to be going through throughout the whole summer. These are the books that we're going to be discussing. Uh, there's a list of about five books, including Psalms 91. Um, and I like to sit down and, and we, we go over it together and we look at things. Uh, you know, um, it's very important that we give it a try and we find out what books are good out here, what are good, wholesome books, that, and then which ones that we may realize that may not, that may not even be on mark. Uh, that, you know, I have a few of them um, that we uh, listen, I, you know, I've read them, and I disagree. After reading through them, I disagree with a lot of things that they are saying. So I want you to be, um, um, be genuine, you know, be genuine. Read the book with me. Read it. Let's, let's, let's do the book of the month. Let's read through the book. Let's find out some topics. Let's discuss those topics and what we're reading. Let's get Peg, uh, Peggy, let's get Peggy on the phone and let's talk with her. And let's get an idea of what she's, what she's trying to express in her book. Sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like a good plan. So, um, we, we, we want to call this overview. Overview, which we're going to get an overview of some of the books. And some of these books are, are fresh out of, the, out of the gate. And some of them are um, been out the gate a while. And the authors have been, you know, they've done their book tours. They made their money and they're sitting here saying, "My, what's next? What's next? So with that, I want to be able to uh, tap into some of these authors, and and let's get an understanding what they what they're saying in their books. Many, many, many books out here, um, and and don't get carried away and, and pulled away and say, well, the books that that I list for our very first year here, or well, our first summer, these are summer books, um, are good. They're good read. There's one that's only a 30 minute read, you know, and a 30 minute read. That's not bad. And we can read that um, and discuss it. There's others that are going to be um, seasonal topics. Uh, what I mean by seasonal topics is that they're, they're good for the season. There's one that I think of. Uh, it's about um, college uh, preparation. Um, Christian college, Christian school and Christian college preparation. And we're, we're going to discuss that. We're going to talk with the author also, again, try to get the author on and get an understanding. That's my specialty. My specialty is uh, I have a, a Ph.D. in uh, Christian college administration and, um, and education. And so this is something I like. I like <laughs> to get in and get a clearer understanding of um, enrollment in college, Christian college enrollment, and the whiz and the whiz and what's about it. So that's going to come up, and that's something that we're going to um, tackle. We're going to, you know, get a good look at it. Um, also, there are some topics uh, about um, young people and uh, sex, um, and how important it is for them to wait. And uh, there's an author, and we'll try to get them and get other people who will want to share with us. So this is going to, we, we, we're quite excited about going into this book of the month club. Um, and as I says, we, we, we encourage um, you to uh, give a compliment or give us um, a feedback. Uh, like I says, we encourage it. We look forward to hearing in, um, w what you have to say and um, share with you and share with our list our listeners what we have read and um, you know enjoy the book. This is a summer read. Uh, I'm quite sure a lot of you are going to be sitting. You know the best thing to do is take time to to, to shut everything down. This is what's wrong with us today. We, we don't take that time to shut everything down in our life. You f um, shut down your, your cell phone. 
shut down your uh, your TV, the idiot tube. Let's shut these things down and let's let's sit and let's discuss. Uh, well, yeah, you're gonna need your phone to talk with us, but some of the other things, the rush, rush, push, 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 you don't need. But you're going to need to take time to read the book. So so take a little time. Let's read through some stuff. And let's read through some stuff together. And let's discuss it. Um, I'm, 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 you know, I, you know I, I have a lot of traveling that I'm going to be doing this year. Uh, I'll be traveling off uh, West Palm Beach and up in Saratoga. Excuse me, Saratoga and, and um, Saratoga Springs. And amongst a, a few other places, and I'll be um, all over the place. And 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 you know, it, it's you find that you're running and running and running and running and running, and you never get a chance to slow down. And we need to turn this technology off. We really do. <laughs> we really need to turn the technology off because it's not. It's. It applies stress. Some people even say, I've heard someone say it causes cancer. I don't know how uh, factual that is. I, I don't know. I haven't read any data on that. But I, I do think that uh, we could be causing ourselves plenty harm, you know, if we um, don't take the time to just um, um Fall off the grid. There, there you go. That's what my wife uses. That's a word she uses a lot of times. Is to fall off the grid. Yeah. Just shut everything down. Shut things down that seem to be affecting n negatively in your life. Just shut down. Shut down. You know, we. How, how often do we do that? How often do we do that? So we're going to get involved with uh, many things, and I want to share with you. I want to um, open up your mind to uh, a lot of um, things that are going on. Um, I know that in WCUW, there's some concerts that are going going to be happening. Summer concerts. Get involved with some of that. You know, relax. Uh, like the young people say, chill out. <laughs> um, Get involved with what's going on. So um, feel free to um, tune into the show we're going to do, which will be um, Overview. And with Overview, we're going to be looking into um, uh, our very first book for the first of the month will be Psalms 91 by Peggy Joyce Ruth. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll give you a bio of her in uh, Friday for our Friday uh, session. I'll give you a bio about uh, Joyce or Peggy Joyce Ruth and more information about her and what she's doing and what she's doing now. And we and if you can show me a concern, uh, uh, um, if you can show me within the time that we're going through this book, it's going to probably be about maybe um, a week within a week two weeks we're gonna we're gonna go through the book because we're not gonna read it i'm not gonna read or we're not gonna read it on air what we're going to do is we're gonna read it before we get on air and uh we're gonna discuss uh what it means and what certain topics mean and i'd like to get your input on it so give us a call you know what the number is you know you got to do is give us a call and let us know hey look at I'm, I'm reading that book with you i'm sharing that with you dr bavard i'm i'm impressed with uh what uh uh, Peggy Joyce Ruth has been writing about the Psalms 91 and um, a very enlightening, enlightened book. Um, so, as I said, they, we can do it together. We can do it together. You, you don't really have to fly through these pages and you really don't have to drag through them. I'm, I'm going to pick out, if you're talking about our book club, I'm going to pick out good books. That is not going to be long, drawn out, um, impossible reads. I want, I want you to be able to read it in uh, a maximum. Any book, you should be able to read a maximum of three weeks to a month. Done. Three weeks to a month. Done. And our discussion should take no more than two weeks. We should be discussing this in two weeks. So I want you to, um, and so what we're going to do is is get together every day 
those days and discuss what we have read and we're going to we're going to try to help you through it and you can get a, a clear um um we may wind up in, in a week doing um, two, three books a week. Uh, maybe someone who may like Psalms 91. And also there may be another group of people who may like some of the other books. So there's going to be balancing and we're going to discuss different books at different times. So we're going to make this. So give me some input. If, if you think that this is too much, give me some input. Give me a call, 413-315-8992 or 413-315-8993. Listen, those of you who are listening to us on YouTube, I know that you found it. You, you may have slipped up and found it today. The way you get to us, the way you get to us, there's two easy ways to find us. and Three, really. Number one, number one, you know this one. Subscribe. Subscribe to us. Subscribe. That's that's all you can do. Subscribe to WCUW twenty four point seven WCUW on YouTube. Subscribe to our 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 um our um our channel and go to um our website. Go to our website and um find out more information about us on the website. You know, we, we're here. We're we're here to to help um, help you out, work with you, pray with you, sing with you, share with you. I mean, this this is a we. It, from what someone was explaining to me, it's a it's a um, national radio station with a um, with a community blend. Does that does that make sense? Let's try it again. It's a national radio, national internet radio with a hometown community blend. I like that. So a lot of things, you may wind up late night listening to jazz or afternoon. I think after this show here, we'll have a jazz show that will be coming on at about 1 o'clock. That's going to wind up tweetling down. But the one o'clock show, one to five o'clock, it'll probably be two to five o'clock, two to five, uh, coming up um, on um, Monday through Fridays. But it's open to you and it's available to you. So we want you to be able to roll up your sleeves and get involved um, with what's happening here at 24.7 WCUW. Also, I want to um, um, remind you of uh, some of the other um, talents who will be a part of this radio station uh, that comes on. We have a whole lineup for um, WCUW Live um, is, is a great lineup, and we have new, newer people coming on, newer people signing up, and uh, we ask that you... you know, Partake, you know. There's people who are coming in as far as Arizona, um, who is br br who are bringing the word to you, bringing the word to you. So there's all good stuff. Uh, I'm going to take a station break, and when we get back, uh, we're, we're going to look at. We're going to pull out scripture out. Pull out. We already did our prayer. We're going to do a little bit of scripture, and um, give me your input. Uh, 413-315-8992 or 413-315-8993 we can discuss some issues we can talk over some matters or hey you know we can pray together whatever it is you want to do today this is your day all right this is why you work so hard to pay the mortgage because home is more than four walls and a roof it's that porch swing on a summer night it's pajamas with feet and everybody over for sunday dinner and that old stuffed chair in the living room you just can't get rid of. This is why you work a second job. This is why you learn to fix things yourself so you can save on repairs. Because home is your place, your memories, your family sleeping in their own beds at night. And that is why we want to help. We are making home affordable, a free government resource that can make paying the mortgage easier. And now even more options are available. Call 888-995-HOPE today. That's 888-995-HOPE. 
or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Good night, Mama. This is why. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. It only takes a minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. And you can do it at doihaveprediabetes.org. But you're probably not going to. Nope. I'm sure you've got a perfectly good excuse. Kids, work. <laughs> I get it. You're busy. So what better time than now? Let's begin. Raise one finger if you're a man. Ladies, none yet. Oh, count in your head if you're driving. Now, three more fingers for everyone over 60, two over 50, one over 40, one more if you're not physically active, another finger if anyone in your family has type 2 diabetes, another if you've got high blood pressure, if you're overweight, raise another finger, two if you're very overweight, and three if you're really overweight. You've just taken the world's first audio pre-diabetes test. And if you're holding up five or more fingers, visit doihaveprediabetes.org or talk to your doctor. There's no excuse because prediabetes can be reversed. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. back um you know what i was reading a couple of days ago and it, it hit me and, and i've been kind of stuck on this and maybe you can help me out with this uh i'm sure you can there's some of uh, some of my uh, uh loyal students out there who have been listening and i'm going to share this and it says here it says and and i pardon uh it doesn't seem like they make enough glasses <laughs> These are not my regular. These are not even my regular glasses. These are reading glasses that have a to the high power, <laughs> to the third high power. You know, so they 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 they. I'm able to try to see, but you know. Let's look at Ecclesiastics eight and Ecclesiastics nine. I'm, I want to go to Ecclesiastic nine, and I'm starting on. Um, Number four. Number four. I think that's that's where we want to be. And number four reads like Ecclesiastes. Do you have it? Ecclesiastics four. Ecclesiastics eight. Sorry. Ecclesiastic eight, verse four. We'll start there. Ecclesiastics chapter 8 verse 4 and it reads like this it says for to him that is joined to all the living there is hope for the living dog is better than a dead lion for the living knows that they shall die but the dead know not anything neither have they any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with merry heart. For God now accepts thy work. Let thy garment be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he has given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity for that is 
thy portion in this vanity uh, for that is thy portion in this vanity or in this life and in thy labor which shall taketh under the sun whatsoever thy hands findeth to do do it with thy might for there is no work no device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether thy go I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong neither yet bread that the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to man of skill but time is chance happening to them all for man also knoweth that his time as the fish that are taken in an evil net And as the bird that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it's fallen suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seems great unto me. There was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered them the city. Yet no man remembered that was uh, remembered that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is the pride or despised and his works are not heard the word of wise men are hard or heard excuse me, heard in quiet more than the cries of him that ruleth among fools wisdom is better than weapons of war but one sinner destroys much good. Now is the time to believe. Dear merciful Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless these words. Bless our hearts. Bless the Holy Spirit that he bring clarity and understanding through his word and that he touches us bless us that we may get a clear understanding and be able to share it with those who are listening today amen now is the time believe Oftentimes we go around out here and we're running and we're moving and we're on the go, we're on the move. And we never seem to take time 
to slow down. That's what we're talking about now today. Today is that 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 quiet time, that time to slow down and honor God for what God is doing in your life as well as preparing ourselves for those things that he may have us to do. We have done much work and and that's what they're saying. We have done much work. We have done many things yet to be paid. But what we understand that God has not forgotten us. The word says right here in seven, it says, go thy way and eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart. For God now, let me hear you say now, now accepts your work. God accepts your work that you've been doing. God accepts what you have been doing and the sacrifice you have made. God remembers. He never forgets. Sometimes it may be that you're in the wilderness and you're working hard and you're working diligently day by day by day by day and you say to yourself, when will this stop? Or when will my day come? Or when will the change come? As Job said, he patiently said, I will wait all the days of my appointed time until my change comes. You may be asking the same thing. Father, why is, why is I, why, David said, I see the, the wicked prosper around me. He watches the wicked prosper around him. He said, you know, we, we get ourselves into those predicaments where we're saying to ourselves, we want our chance. We want our chance. Now, the, the, the writer, which is Solomon, King Solomon says, that's all vanity. But I know a lot of you will say, <laughs> Solomon, you were rich. You were born rich. <laughs> you had a silver spoon all your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all vanity. But, you know, please lay down a little vanity at my house. If only a little. It's easy to say that's no good or that's not right or that's worthless when you got so much of it. Okay, imagine if you were to win a million dollars, okay, win a million dollars in the lottery. Now, no, you guys are not playing the lottery, but just imagine if you won a million dollars in the lottery and you walked away and you were like, wow, um, not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you walked away and your words were, wow, you know, wow. You dance for God and you dance almost out your clothes and you you bless the Lord and you bless your church and you bless yourself and you bless everybody. And you're sitting there with so much money to where you see the money causing nothing but trouble in your life. You're watching people who use your children instead of being blessed, they're being um, terrorized. You can't you can't match in today's society. Your children. You can't even assure safety. And the question is, would you deny your blessing for the safety of your children? That's a good question. You, if, 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 if you were given the ultimatum at this very minute of winning or receiving uh, $238 million dollars or the, the, the loss of any of your offspring. Would you take that risk? Would you take that risk? That's something to think about. Because that's pretty much what you're saying when you walk around with that much money and little, and little to no protection. Little to no protection. Because what happens is people, and we're in evil times, people, um, 
people target you. People target you. They, they, um, what do they call that? Stalk you. They stalk you and then they attack. If they can get your hand, get their hands near you enough to get you. Uh, just uh, last week, a week before last, the uh, unfortunate killing of the young man who is a uh, football player. He had no knowledge that his wife said that they bumped up against the car. They bumped the, the, this guy's um, Hummer. And the, 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 the gentleman was only exercising in, 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 in getting out of the way. And because this guy was uh, performing somewhat hostile. So his desire is, I got to go. I got to get out of the way. I'm not going to stick around here. This guy is hostile. So they left, and he chased him down. Now, we have insurances on our vehicles. There's no need in getting, in a, getting into any altercation if there's a problem all you need to do now, and and things are even more simple. You could you don't even have to get out of your car anymore. You can take a picture. You know, if I hit your car, give me your information. I give you my information, and let our insurance companies work this thing out. You can tell I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> Let our insurance companies work this thing out. This is it's it's no need for us to get physical and get all out of out of whack and everything. And now you know you know it, it's no need for it. That's overkill. That's that's you know. And then they the gentleman shot him eight times while taunting over his body. That's not necessary. Shot his wife and shot him. That was uncalled for. People, you know, um, there's a reason why he was saying in the scripture, he says that go thy way. I mean, go, go do your thing. Eat thy bread. With joy and drink thy wine with mercy. With a merry, excuse me, with a merry heart. For God now accepts thy work. He goes on to say, Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. That means walking right, walking righteous. Be blameless. Do enjoy yourself. Have fun. You know, because if we look back, if we go back up near four. It says, "For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better." Than a dead lion. The reason why I said living a, a, a living dog is because a dog will run off. Not many dogs will stand and fight. If you if you see the one thing about a dog, a dog will weigh out its situation. You know, call me a liar if you want to. A dog will weigh out if he he's the only animal that operates on logic. Logic. <laughs> I know. I had a dog. I had a pit bull. And that pit bull knew who he would fight and knew when to flee. Now, if you're a dog and you're about that big, you got a fight on your hand. <laughs> but if you're, uh, if you have this dog standing this high, believe me, my dog knew how to get out of the way. He knew right then how to decide fight or flight. 
See? See, and that's the thing. He's saying, he says that, for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. See, long as you're still here living and breathing and surviving, there's hope in your life for a change in your life. There's an opportunity for you to change how you're living. There's an opportunity for your mind to be, uh, uh, to, to be you know, um, regulated is what my grandmother used to call it. You get a regulated mind or you get a new mind in things. There's a, there's a chance for you. You can change your whole life. You can quit. You can be delivered. There's a chance. Then be this proud lion, but dead. What good are you dead? You can't bring the loss to the cross. You can't pray for nobody. You can't feed your family. You can't do nothing. You dead. Goes on to say, number five, it says, for the living know that they shall die. You know your time is coming. So now is the time to get your life right. The living may know that his time shall die, that, that he shall die. But the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward for the memory. The people don't even remember you anymore once the dirt goes on your face. Some people hold on and yeah, yeah, they mourn a little longer than they should or they mourn a little bit, but do they remember? Remember, remember? No. No, they keep moving on. Keep it moving because, you know, and, that, and that's what they're saying here. He's saying keep it moving. Party. Enjoy yourself. Keep it going. Don't stop. Don't stop. And as we go on, it says here, it says, But the dead shall know not anything, neither have they any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Also, their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more portion forever in anything. That is done under the sun. You through. It's final. Death is final. This this fleshly death, because you have eternal life under the, the the spirit of God, and you have eternal life. But we're talking about fleshly death. This is what he's talking about. That fleshly death. Once you taken and taste that fleshly death, you're done. goes on to say go thy way eat thy bread and joy with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart for God now accepts your work now is the time believe Now is the time. Believe. You may have been, as I said, working, putting things to the side and hustling and, and you know, saving and, and you've been sacrificing. You've been repenting. You've been doing all of that. You've been giving your life to Christ. You've been begging God to just give you another chance. Just let let today be my day. Let today be my day where I could be blessed openly. Let today be the day where you open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that I will not have room enough to receive it. Father, let today be that day that I may be able to come unto you with my wearied self. Lay down my crown my jewels before your throne today may be that day where you may say i need your help god is saying today that this is your day this is your day 
No longer do you have to continue keep getting beat up. There's no sense in you running out here being a, a dead lion. A dead lion cannot do anything. You are no use to God being a dead lion. You proud, you strong, you proud, you proud, you dead. But a dog will measure out and realize I, I, I need to stop this. I need to change this. I know a dog, you, as long as you hold that chain, that dog is gonna look vicious. But you loosen that chain, he'll, he'll sit down. He'll sit down like a lamb because he ain't dumb. He's not stupid. He doesn't operate on pride. He doesn't operate on pride. He operates on uh, logic. He operates on logic. That's why, as I said, you see many dogs. But see, cats, cats are different. <laughs> A lion's in the cat family. See, cats, if you have a cat or had a cat, I never have. My wife had a cat. My kids had a cat. But my wife had a cat. when I, And then cats do some really crazy, crazy stuff. And I never understood this cat. He was in my house with me. Me and him were together. I never understood what he did and why he did it. <laughs> but he was a cat. Cats. Don't operate on logic. They're just goofy. They have a lot of pride, and 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 and. But then they will fall off or do something stupid, and they look like an idiot when they do it. Don't be an idiot. Don't do something stupid. Enjoy life for what is sitting in front of you right now. Now, some people are going to say, "Oh, Bishop, 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 listen." The word says right here, it says clearly, it says, go thy way, eat thy bread with joy. Do the things that you're doing. And, and I, I think we read earlier in his, that when you do your job, do your job. With, where is that at before we, before we go? We're getting ready to leave now. It says, um, I, I, I want to... It says, I return to St. Saul and to say the son of Raisin. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to find it real quick. Uh, but, but, but it did tell us that that what you do. Do it. Do it. With joy. Do it with, do it with joy. Do it with happiness. Do it with might. And then not only do it with happiness, joy, and might, but he also says, let your remnants, let your clothing, let your robe be white, okay? And your head always anointed or, or ointment. So now he's saying, not only do what you're going to do, but do it in God. Do it in righteousness. Do it according to the will and the way of God. Do it that is good and wholesome that when others see you, they see not the bishop doing this or doing that, but they see the bishop's doing this and that, and he is a follower of God. You can do it. I'm not saying sin. Someone said, well, isn't that drinking and eating? No. No. Now, drunken and glutton, <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. But gluttony and drunkenness, that's evil. Okay? That's evil. That's sin. When you're sitting there and you're drunk off the spirit. When you're sitting there and you're, and you're stuffed. Ugh, gluttony. Just give me another, just give me a little more. See, you, you're overeating something that you see, and this is what he's saying: don't do, don't get in, don't get into that. I have, I have one of my uncles tell me when I was a young man growing up. He says you shouldn't be fat and a Christian. I couldn't understand it, but he's talking one preacher to another preacher, and he was my father's brother, and I respected him, 
he told me, he says, he says, you know, you shouldn't be fat and being a preacher at the same time. I said, is there any good time I should be fat? <laughs> is there any good time I should be fat? He said, no, he said, gluttony is not good. Trim yourself down. Come down. You know, a little bit, one thing, but don't be obese running around. And I, and I, you know, I cut down a lot of my weight, you know. Listen, now is your time. Ready yourself for your time. Now is your time. Say it with me. Now is my time. Believe. Now is my time. Not, not, not believe that it's your time. Believe that now, this very moment, now is your time. Right now. That God is trying to get something to you. He's trying to get some, something in your hand. Now is your time. He wants you to be. He wants your garments to be white. He wants your anoint your, your, the ointment on your forehead. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to drink, eat, drink, and be merry. He wants you to bring joy to not only us. He don't want you to be a dumb lion. He wants you to be strong. He wants to make sure that what you build in life for yourself and for your family will last. He's not just going to give you something to mess up. That's what he talks about by the lion. See, the dog is going to use um, logic. And he's going to live. Because he's using logic. But the lion is going to go out and be proud. Spend up all his money. Spend up all his resources. Lose everything he got. Throw everything he got away. Been there, done that, don't work. People, it's time now to step up, stand up, and stay up. <laughs> okay? And if somebody say, why are you doing it? Say that Bishop Bavard say they'll do this. And he said, thus saith the Lord through Ecclesiastes 9 told me that I should be eating and drinking and being merry and being happy. Not drunken and gouging yourself. No. He says, enjoy life. Because when the time come and you lay this body down, you can't pick it back up. Okay? When you lay this down, you're not picking it back up. It's a done deal. You have lost your chance to be able to get it right when you lay down and you go to the grave. That's one thing that David and all of them knew. They knew that when the time came and they went to the grave that all this stuff was gone. All this worldly thing that they tried to possess and all the stuff, the riches and the wealth that they were receiving from God stayed here. It didn't come with them. It didn't leave with them. It stayed here. And that's what's going to happen to you if you put everything in front of God and not allow God to go first and allow God to provide your every need. He says right now, that's why he's saying now is the time. He's telling you, now see, I'm going to preach this one day with the boy that wanted to go out fishing on Sunday. And, you know, now is the time. There is a time when God is saying, I want you to drop your net there's a time when god is saying i want you to step out there's a time where god is saying i need you to be bold and i need you to be brave and of might there's a time when god says i want you to believe in me there's a time when god says i want everything to be right so that when they see you your garments are white and your head is anointed and the image of God is shining through. You look, not only look, you play and you are the part that he needs you to be. You, you're an ambassador for God. You are an ambassador for God. Don't be an embarrassment. 
See, that's one thing about God. When you're an ambassador for God, you will not be an embarrassment for God. Okay? You're an ambassador, not an embarrassment. Now is your time. Ready yourself. Sure yourself. Right now. Put on the full armor. That's, ooh, that's another one. Put on the full armor and get ready because now is your time to receive. Believe. All right? People, believe. Now is the time. Put on the full armor. Now is the time. Now is the time to fight that battle. Now is the time to receive. You have already fought the battle. God has already fought the battle for you. You have already went through the war. Jesus fought the battle for you. You are victorious in Christ. You are victorious in Christ. So prepare yourself for good, uh, for, the, for the, the spoil of the battle. See, that's what's so good about God. See, he's fought the battle for you. And he's telling you, go into the battlefield and pick up the spoil of the battle. All right? With that being said, I'm going to let you go right there. I'm going to let you go. And we're going to see what we can do tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, the, is, is, see, what happened was as many people, I guess some of our talent is not, uh, not on time because Patriots Day, they don't celebrate Patriots Day anywhere but in Maine and Massachusetts. So that that's all good. It's all good because the Holy Spirit has a message to bring to you today. Now is the time. Believe. Go into the battlefield and pick up the spoils from the fight. Now is the time. All right. With that being said, I want to tell each and every one of you that you are listening to 24.7 WCUW. And we thank you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. I mean, Ted Cruz took his home state of Texas. Now Donald Trump appears ready to win his. When I first started, people said for fun and he's really having a good time. But and then all of a sudden, we're by far in first place.